Tonight, two more, or excuse me, tonight more than 200 students and staff in one local school district are being told to quarantine after new cases of COVID-19. So could this happen at your child's school? Tiffany Tarpley looks at what all parents need to know. While only two students here in the Mayfield School District have tested positive this week, hundreds of people are quarantined. It was bound to happen, and now we're seeing local school districts' plans to prevent the spread of COVID-19 put into action. Just this week, hundreds of high school and middle school students and staff in the Mayfield City Schools District have been told to quarantine and learn virtually because of a couple of new cases. Parents are saying, you know, should I be terrified about my kids going to school? And I say the more you get involved and you read the plan and you look at their website and you talk with them, the more assured you'll be that they're really trying hard. Cuyahoga County Board of Public Health Suzanne Rush doesn't know the specifics of the cases in Mayfield City Schools right now, but overall, school leaders in that county have worked closely with the Department of Health for guidance on COVID-19 protocols. We give them best practices and recommendations and I would say the vast majority are fantastic. The Willoughby East Lake School District is also putting its plan into action, keeping most Willowick middle eighth graders in quarantine at home and closing East Lake Middle after three recent cases between the two schools. As for Lorain County, Public Health Commissioner Dave Koval says there have been a few cases in a couple of different school districts. There will be cases in each school probably this year at some point. The question is, can we stop it from spreading? And that's really the big key. It's important, more important than ever to make sure that if your child's sick, they're not coming to school. District leaders here in Mayfield say as long as students are symptom free in two weeks, they can return to school. Tiffany Tarpley, 3 News. Tiffany, thanks.